We've got a new camera, so if you've got the bandwidth, click the gear icon in the corner of the video player, select your preferred quality, and enjoy the video in HD. I'm Tom Johnson, Thomas Johnson, Antique Furniture Restoration in Gorm, Maine. This is a nice little antique work table. Uh, I'd say it was uh, Empire period. It's got a cherry top. The drawer fronts are veneered with mahogany. The legs appear to be birch or maple. And uh, they probably were staying dark originally, probably to match everything else. What I need to do is re-glue the top. The top is cracked. The leaf cracked off. And then I'm going to refinish this top and restore the finish on the case. Here's a good one. Someone has cut into the leg and maybe installed some kind of angle bracket and screwed it to the top and then puttied over the angle bracket. On this side, on the underside of the leaf, you can see some reddish kind of maybe some sort of base stain, some darker finish underneath. But this reddish stain is probably the original finish of the table. And even though I'm going to refinish the top, it's important to preserve the underside of this leaf because this is the evidence of what the original finish was like. Now I still got to glue the, uh, the leaf back together. I'm going to take the clamps off now. Um, I can see I've got a problem because it didn't come together on the top. It came together on the bottom, I think. But because the boards are cupped, each board is cupped, and I wanted to keep it overall flat, Something had to not come together. And actually the bottom of the top came together nicely. It also looks good on the ends. I don't think I need to do much. I think I'm just going to fill this gap in the top. And uh, when I secure this to the base, I'll secure it kind of strongly in this area across that crack. And uh, I think that'll hold it. I'm going to use a, a wet rag and then maybe a, a scrubby pad with a little water to, to loosen the, uh, the glue on the top. I've got the glue off and before I strip this top I want to fill my open joint here with some epoxy putty. Uh, first I've got a little unevenness here and so I'm going to plane it a little more level and then fill this crack and this crack too with epoxy putty. I'm going to sand these tops with 150. I hope that's all it's need. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm going to leave them scarred up somewhat. I can sand these sides so they didn't strip. Now I'm ready to put a coat of tongue oil on the top. First I'm going to put a coat of shellac on the bottom of the leaves. I want to seal all the surfaces, but I want to use shellac. I want to protect what's left of the original finish. Okay, so these have dried overnight. 
I'm going to just uh, sand them lightly with some 320. I've got a little touch up to do here. And then I'll put another coat of tongue oil. Okay, these are ready for a final sanding and a final coat. But first, I'm going to assemble the top and attach it to the base. Now you'll notice that I taped all the screws right into the holes that they came out of so each screw can go back into the exact same hole. Okay, the table has dried overnight. It looks really good and I, and I like the sheen of the satin tongue oil that I put on here. So I don't want to rub it out too much and make it too shiny. And yet, it's got little dust nits on it. As I feel it, I can feel little nits, dust, maybe a bubble or so. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a razor blade and I'm going to go over it very gently and kind of shave off all the little nits. Now I'm going to rub this with a piece of craft paper. And that makes the top feel really smooth. It doesn't change the sheen. Now I'll go over the entire table, including the top, with my oil and beeswax polish. All right, there we go. This is a nice little 19th century work table. Uh, I did nothing to the base and the legs other than to polish it, but the top was a mess. It, the main top was cracked. One of the leaves was cracked in half, so I re-glued everything, uh, refinished it. It, uh, it looks pretty good.